And with most skincare, you can't just skip. Remember, it is not a sprint, it is a marathon. Hello. I am breaking out, but at least I'm not breaking down <laughs> yet. You know, I shouldn't speak too soon. <laughs> when I get pimples like this, I often reach for some of my acne prone product essentials, but it got me thinking, how long does it actually take these things to work? And when it comes to your skincare, specifically around acne ingredients, how long do you have to use something in order to see results? Well, let's talk about that because the results are actually quite surprising. Based on some medical studies, as well as some personal experiences that you've probably had, there are some products that yes, can actually work in Instantly, but others that take quite a bit of time. And baby, patience is a virtue because when we actually think of the skin, we know it has layers. New skin cells are created in this little layer called the stratum basale or the basal layer of the skin. But as you can see, they need to get pushed up and squished and excrete their intercellular matrices all the way until they get to the top of the skin and then slough off. And that entire process on average takes 28 days. Now, if you're younger, if you're using retinoids or if your skin has a condition like psoriasis or eczema, that happens much quicker. I mean, as little as two weeks. If you tend to be older, if your skin has more collagen and elastin damage, if you've spent a lot of time in the sun, that could even take 40 days or more. So while this is going to depend greatly on each individual, there are some guidelines that we can use. And before we speak about what my face needs, such as salicylic acid or azelaic acid or even retinoids, let's actually talk about the things that do work immediately, specifically cleansers, moisturizers, and sunscreens. You can probably tell this because it's capped and obvious, but you can see whether or not a cleanser is working when you remove your makeup when you use it to wash your face. Is it cleaning your skin or not? Depending on the ingredients, such as benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid, this can vary, but generally you can see if a cleanser is working immediately out of the bottle. Same with a moisturizer. If your skin is feeling tight and dry, if you put a moisturizer on, does your skin feel less tight and dry? <laughs> if so, your moisturizer is doing a good job. And same with your sunscreen. Your sunscreen starts protecting your skin immediately when you apply it. There used to be this myth that you had to wait like 30 minutes before going into the sun after you apply sunscreen. Probably not a bad idea and definitely don't jump in the water directly after applying your sunscreen if you really want it to soak in. But your sunscreen starts immediately after you apply it. And you can probably tell all of these things based on your personal product use. But what about ingredients? Retinoids, antioxidants, vitamin C, when do those start working? Well, antioxidants are actually some of the quickest, which is why we find them in a lot of cleansers and moisturizers. Antioxidants work as anti or not oxidants or oxidation, ROS, reactive oxygen species, free radicals. Antioxidants basically take one for the team. They bind to these harmful things so that these harmful things don't bind to your skin. And that happens immediately when you use them. If you have a serum with antioxidants or a cleanser, etc., they get to work as soon as they're applied. But this is also why antioxidants need to be applied regularly. And with most skincare, you can't just skip. Remember, it is not a sprint, it is a marathon. Now, outside of antioxidants, when we look at things like our alpha hydroxy acids or beta hydroxy acids, they're the ones that you will see the fastest improvement with when you start using them. But again, it still takes time. When it comes to things like salicylic acid, that's usually used for acne, such as me right here, or things like AHAs, such as glycolic and lactic acids or tartaric acids, they do take around the same amount of time. Now, in general, medical studies have shown that people who start using alpha hydroxy acids really start to see those benefits within about two weeks. If you've ever applied any AHAs or BHAs to sensitive skin, you know that your skin can start to actually peel a day or two later. So depending on the concentration, you might actually see those results sooner. But in general, after about two weeks, your skin is able to absorb those alpha and beta hydroxy acids and start having them get to work. This includes for things like pimples, which we've seen in this medical study where salicylic acid was shown to be a little bit more beneficial than benzoyl peroxide, at least in how quickly it started working. And same with these acids for things like texture. Now, when it does come to pigmentation or dark spots, those of course take a little bit longer. And of course, you know, you're not going to revise a scar within two weeks, but based on the medical literature, it seems that alpha and beta hydroxy acids are going to give you the most immediate results that you can see on skin. Now, shortly thereafter, is benzoyl peroxide, one of my acne prone favorites. Benzoyl peroxide does dry out the skin quite a bit if you use too much of it, so be aware of that. But to actually see therapeutic or treatment benefits, some people can see that pretty quickly on, but in general, the medical literature says it takes about two to three weeks. So if you're using a new benzoyl peroxide cleanser or even a spot treatment, number one, beware of dryness and use that moisturizer for immediate relief. Oh, what a relief it is. And number two, give it about two to three weeks to actually let your skin cells overturn themselves. And when you think about it, who struggles with acne most, 
teenagers or people with younger skin. How long does it take for younger skin to turn around? Two to three weeks if things are functioning properly. There might be some correlations going on here based on what we're seeing in medical literature. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now up next is azelaic acid that can take around four to six weeks to start working and to really see noticeable benefits. If you have really, really, really bad rosacea and you're using a high quality azelaic acid or prescription, you might be able to see those results sooner. But azelaic acid is normally used for pustular rosacea, the rosacea that kind of looks like acne, or for acne in some people. It can also be used for some skin discoloration, but usually for acne and rosacea, again, it's around that four to six weeks that people really start to see a benefit. Azelaic acid is a dicarboxylic acid and it is safe for pregnancy. So this is a great option for someone who's really struggling. Uh, but remember, it does take time to soak into the skin and to have that change and effect. And when we do speak about azelaic acid in the way that it helps with pigmentation, any unevenness in the skin, that does take longer, which brings us into vitamin C. How long does it take to see benefits from vitamin C? So vitamin C works as an antioxidant the second that you start applying it. But if you're using vitamin C or azelaic acid to help with pigmentation or discoloration in the skin, it can take four to six to even eight weeks for something like vitamin C or tyrosinase inhibitors or azelaic acid to start working on pigmentation. The way pigmentation works in the skin is that pigment is created by melanocytes. They create this pigment called melanin. And that melanin kind of sits like umbrellas on top of our little bricks inside of our face, the keratinocytes that are our skin cells. But as you can imagine, that pigment takes time to produce, takes time to spread and to sit there. If we're trying to break that down, it does take much more time for products to soak into the skin and to get to work. So for pigmentary things, it can take much longer. And again, this is usually in reference to things like our vitamin C, our azelaic acid, things like licorice, or even tranexamic acid, alpha arbutin, etc. Now, when it comes to retinoids, they are known as a dermatologist's best friend, especially if they're prescription, but you can get over the counter retinoids too. But unfortunately, retinoids can take four or five months to really start working. Retinoids actually work by penetrating into the skin and binding to specific receptors, the RAR and RXR receptors. This kind of leads a chain of reactions to happen, and the skin produces more EGF, epidermal growth factor, basically telling those little skin cells in that stratum basale, that base layer, hey, produce more of yourselves. Once they get that signal, they have to start creating those skin cells, and then they need to get pushed up to the top. And as you know, if you've ever used a retinoid, it feels like your skin is sloughing off, but even though the top of your skin might be peeling, the skin on the inside is actually becoming thicker. Now, because retinoids are usually used for the treatment of acne or for things like fine lines and wrinkles, you can imagine this takes quite a long time. And in order to get the product to penetrate, to get it to convert, to tell the skin to have those cellular changes and to actually see those changes appear on the skin, it can take four or five months. It can take 10 weeks plus. And this is why a lot of dermatologists prescribe prescription retinoids and say, hey, you know, come back in three months. For someone who's struggling with acne, that can feel very devalidating. That can feel absolutely horrible. But when you start to learn a little bit more about how the skin works, it makes a little bit more sense. Now, does that mean that's the way that things should be done? I don't know about that. As someone who has struggled with acne myself, I might personally challenge that. But as I get older and more advanced in my career and learn more about the skin, I look at this and I say, okay, well, that kind of makes sense. You know, you need to be patient with skincare, which can be so difficult, especially if you're struggling with something on your face that's burning and itching and painful right now. And retinoids, while they are amazing, really do depend on your skin and your body and your body being able to absorb those, translate them if it's something like retinol versus retinal versus retinoic acid, and then put them to use. And that's also why I think taking pictures is so important, because when we look in the mirror every single day, it's hard to notice changes in our skin. But if we look at a picture that we took months ago, and all of a sudden blemishes are less eruptive, and our pigmentation looks a little bit more even, and our fine lines and wrinkles don't seem as deep, oh my gosh, in pictures, it's really easy to study that and compare. This is why I always say that it's so important to stay consistent with a routine. You need to switch things out gradually instead of all at once. And as someone who tries and loves a lot of products, oh, do I struggle with this? I also struggle with picking, but we're not gonna talk about that. It can be really, really difficult. And if you love skincare and you're open to trying new things, or if it's literally your job, especially when I'm testing products on myself for YouTube or for others, when it comes to things in medical aesthetics and actually caring for other people in their skin, I probably do a lot of damage to my skin that's unnecessary in order to try to get those honest results and feedback for other people who might be struggling more than I am with the things that happen on our face. Do you remember that it's so important to isolate those variables as well? Because if you see a dramatic improvement in your skin, well, which of the new 10 products did it? If you don't isolate those variables, you won't know. But if you say, oh, I have this major change in my skin in the last month, and the only thing I switched out was my salicylic acid cleanser, well, then there you go. That's most likely going to be the thing that made the biggest impact, as long as something like your diet, your stress levels, and your sleep, you know, aren't doing something funny to your hormones, which is another reason why this all stuff is so confusing. And I know this can be hard, but we actually have a video
video on a skincare challenge on how to isolate your variables and do things one at a time. If you would like to, I will link you to that video right here and right here, as well as link some of my favorite products for retinoids, salicylic acid, azelaic acid, and vitamin C in this spiffy little YouTube shelf. Always remember to stay hydrated, both orally and topically. Always remember to reapply that sunscreen, which also works and protects your face immediately. And always be beautiful inside and out, which you can choose to do any moment of any or every single day. I love you, beautiful butterflies. Uh, my new pimples do too. And I cannot wait to see you in this next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye. Toodles. Toodaloo. Am I four years old? Am I, am I from the 50s? When did they say toodaloo? Don't answer that question. All right, have a great day.